What's up friends, Chook here, and today we're playing Elise in the Jungle. So, Elise has got a lot of uh, buffs recently, in the last few patches, and she's been in a sort of, eh, state for a while now. When she was released, she was super, super OP, and uh, very strong. And then she got nerfed into the ground and hasn't really seen much play since. But recently she's got some buffs and the AP item overhaul and uh, some jungle changes as well with Runeglaive has, has made her actually fairly viable and really strong at the moment. And she's always kind of been one of those champions I've really, really wanted to play and like a lot. And I liked it a lot at launch, as did everyone. But then, like I said, she got nerfed into the ground and, uh, and everyone kind of stopped playing it. So I'm happy that she's back. Let's put it that way. I'm a massive uh, uh, spider fan and invertebrate fan and you know I've got pet tarantula and scorpion and all sorts of cool things and um, centipedes and stuff so spiders right up my alley. So let's quickly take a look at the team comps. They have a really tanky team actually which could be some some uh, unfortunate trouble there for me but we'll, we'll find out. So myself Elise in the jungle Dolly Bear top, Blitz and Ezreal bot, and Fizz mid. And they have Shivana jungle, which sucks for me. Uh, Nautilus Jinx bot. Just rearrange this. Um, Nar top and Vlad mid. They could be swapped. We'll find out. But basically, Shivana tanky. Um, sorry, but it had actually to where I meant to be. bit late there. That's alright. I was too busy talking. Um, Shivana is tanky, obviously, as is Nar when he goes into Mega Nar, um, as is Nautilus, and who was the other one? Vladimir. Vladimir is just a pain in the ass, and he's got his pool, and the more health he builds, the more um, AP he gets, and the more AP he gets, the more health he gets. So he turns here to be, uh, you know, pretty tanky mage as well so yeah they're gonna be a lot more tankier than us put it that way now i'm not really clearing this too well i should be getting my spiders to tank for me but instead i'm tanking like an idiot but like i said elise has sort of just come back and i'm i'm not 100 percent familiar with her play style again i'm getting getting used to it this is only my third game or something with her since since i've started playing her again so I'm sure I'll get better the longer it goes. So I just take down this scuttle quickly for some vision and uh, some extra gold and some regen so that uh, we can clear the jungle easy. So I, I actually uh, struggle a bit with form swapping champions. Um, Nidalee and, and Jace and people like that, I tend to have a bit of trouble. Um, and Elise is obviously one of them as well, so I'm gonna get my Q, uh, my E, sorry, now as well. Doesn't really help. In spider form, it's the repel, which, you know, negates CC and puts you up in the air and everything, and in human form, it's a stun. Doesn't really help too much with jungling, but if we get counter jungle or something, I'm, I want to have that stun and that, that escape, basically. That's why I took that. Uh, yeah, so I, I struggle a little bit with, uh, where is that guy going? Okay, that was weird. Uh, I struggle a little bit with, with form swappers. Uh, yeah, you know, um, my fingers mixed up on, on the keys and everything because they're a lot combo based, basically. Um, you've got a lot more abilities to play with instead of just everyone else having four abilities. You've got, you know, six or, or eight or depending. Where the fuck is my spider going? That's crazy. Uh, depending on, you know, on what champion it is, you have all these different abilities and uh, different synergies and stuff, so... Yeah, it can be a bit tricky. All right, so let's let's ping in here that we're coming in. Let's stun him. No. Can we get him? Pretty sure we can. And then we'll just repel, and we're dead. Shimada wasn't there. We probably could have got away from that, but she was there, and I wasted my flash to try and secure the kill. So, at least we got first blood, but we also died. Because I could have repelled down, and had I actually repelled, gone this way before I repelled a bit more, I could have repelled onto the, uh, onto the chickens. 
So that was just a bit of a misplay on my part. But that's alright. Now, I do like to get Stalker's Blade on her. I'm not sure if that's what you're meant to do, but that I personally like doing that. Uh, purely because if you miss your stun, you know, you kind of, your CC is gone. Um, she does have a repel to, you know, catch up to people and everything. But, pardon me. Uh, but the, the, the slow on Stalker's Blade just helps you, you know, catch up to people or um, helps your allies catch up to them, stuff like that. A little bit of extra damage if they're on like, you know, 2 HP and they're going to get away. You can just smite them if they're out of range. All that type of business. And, uh, you know, it's just a just a uh, generally good uh, jungle item. I don't know how I'm failing this, uh, this Volatile Spiderling or whatever it's called so hard, but... I think I should probably open with my Q and then go into it because otherwise it just runs around like crazy and it doesn't target anything. So let's try that this time. Open with the Q, then Volatile. Yeah, that seems to be a bit better. I'm going to smite this for the extra uh, um, poison effect. I'm going to stun the Scuttle there. Shouldn't be using probably that much mana on farming. Um, the Scuttle Crab. Probably not ideal. But, it's alright. And the good thing before... She's already 6, that's crazy. Uh, the good thing about that death to, uh... If there's a good thing about death. To... What's his face before? Um, I've forgotten his name again. Vladimir. Is that Shivana didn't get anything. So, she's still, you know, killless, basically. And we've got the one kill. Um... So that puts us a little bit ahead of her as far as gold goes, but she's got 28 farm, we got 24. So it's, yeah, it's, it's not really, not really that big of a, a win, but at least she didn't get an assist or anything is, is basically what I'm trying to say there. I'm going to spike this as well, because uh, at least does have quite a bit of attack speed. Yeah, every lane apart from mid lane is pushed. Is probably going to get out of that. No, he's not. Okay, can we go in here and do anything against this guy? Fizz, don't go, don't go, don't go. Ah, yeah, you went. That's a lot of minions. Might be able to do something. No. Okay. Fucking troll pull. I hate it. I thought maybe as soon as he came out of troll pull, I could stun him and then turn into spider form and jump on him, but not the case. So I think for now, we're just going to farm up. Um... Try and get these power items as soon as we can. I think once I get Runeglaive, it's going to become a lot better. Uh, going to hit kind of a power spike there. Uh, I know Elise is very strong at the moment, like I said at the start of the video. But I am just getting back into learning, like I said as well. So, just trying to figure out those limitations. <clears throat> and I don't want to feed this this Vladimir anymore and give Fizz any more, any more trouble, so... He's, he's kicking his ass in farm and everything, so... He's just got... Uh, the Vladimir just has a few kills on me. So, really, I'm failing the team at the moment. And that's not what you want to be doing. Okay, level up our, our ult there. Can afford to get a stun off with the blue buff. Just that little bit more... CC. Don't attack me, attack my spiders. There we go. <clears throat> so we're just farming up. We can go back and get the Rune Glaive now. If we wanted to. Um, which, like I said, will be a power spike. But we just we have blue buff, and uh, you know, I'd like to kind of utilize that while I'm running around clearing everything. Everyone is pushed up though. There's not really that much we can do apart from farm, so. Uh, usually I take the little guys out first, but um, at least clears so fast and her spider links do damage to everything that it doesn't really matter who you target, they all kind of die at the same time, so. Just get them tanking for us. Might smite this for the health. We had the two smites there, so it wasn't really a waste. Ping to say I'm coming in here. Although it's definitely not needed. 
We'll see if Shivana shows up. Doesn't look like it. Get this scuttle down. Don't really want to have to smite it. Shouldn't have to. No, there we go. Alright, so we'll get a ward on drag. And maybe go in and do something to this Jinx. Okay. Got her. Yeah, can we... Do we have our stun up? No, we don't. But at least we got a kill there. That wasn't bad. Alright. So, we'll uh, use a health pot there because we're still quite healthy. And that'll top us off. And with our um, healing from our passive, if uh, we can get our spider links to tank for once, uh, we should be okay. Now, Shivana is coming down, but those guys saw it well and truly. So, I don't think they're going to get stuck. Um, now, the one thing that made Shivana, not Shivana, sorry, Elise, uh, strong again, one of the main things was they changed her stun to 1.6 second stun at level 1. Which means that you don't need to put a huge amount of points into it anymore to make it worthwhile. Uh, you could just, it's like a one hit wonder type thing. Like 1.6 second stun, that's pretty massive at level 1. So, uh, yeah, that was one of the big changes that, that made her... Oh god. Uh, that made her strong again, basically. As well as, like I said, the, the changes to Runeglaive and the changes to the uh, AP overhaul and all of that, so... Fuck me! She does so much damage, that's retarded. I should have I should have come out of uh out of spider form into human form way quicker so that I could get the stun off, get the volatile spider and get the whatever it's called, venomous no, the the, the Q version of, of human form. So that I could turn into spider form straight away jump on her. But I went into human form too late, so I couldn't uh, there's a cooldown cool there, four second cooldown, so I couldn't get back to spider form quick enough. Had I done that quick enough, um, you know, I probably would have killed her, no worries. But I didn't, because I'm an idiot. And as a result, I died. And Shivana, you know, just does so much damage, dueling damage, one on one. That, But that, that should have, 100%, that should have been a kill for me. I just played that horrendously badly. Yeah, and we'll give we'll give Fizz that, that, that blue, for sure. It's in 42 seconds, so. So that top tower is gone. Um, really, we shouldn't be 2 3 0. We should probably be like 3 2 something, maybe, or not even that, so. But I, I'm, I'm, pretty, I'm pretty confident that we'll, we'll come back and, and be pretty strong. So, as far as what I'm building next, is uh, I'm going to build. I just built the Happy Mask of Doom. And uh, from there, I will now go into Sock Boots. Or maybe Merc Treads. Probably Merc Treads, actually. Oh shit, that's not where I want to be. Um, the blue buff is there. Damn it, I missed. Um, so I want to go into Merc Treads probably for the... Uh, Magic Resist, which will help with Vlad and, well, Nautilus, but not really. You don't really buy Merc Treads for the Magic Resist so much. You, um, you buy them for the, uh, okay, we didn't get the kill. You buy it for the Tenacity, so that when you're in team fights, you don't just get CC'd the whole time. And Elise being mainly melee with her spider form, you, you know, you don't want to just be stuck the whole time. Uh, you don't want to... You're basically in, uh, why am I tanking this? You're basically in human form to, uh... Alright, good. Sorry, I lost, I didn't want to talk there because, uh, I was nervous. I don't know why uh, Volley wasn't helping me kill him, he was just taking the tower, but anyway. Um, lost my train of thought. 
I don't know what I was talking about. Merc treads, I'm pretty sure. Basically, long story short, I'm buying Merc treads. Um, yeah, you don't want to be in human form for too long. You know, you, you chuck off your spells and then you, ch you jump into spider form and, and do your assassinations, basically. Um, you don't want to just sit there auto-attacking in, in human form. So you're mainly melee. And uh, I like Merc treads on pretty much any sort of bruisery, jungly thing, unless you're going like... Um, uh, who? Like attack speed, maybe like Zin and that. I might get um, the Berserker Greaves or something like that for the attack speed, but generally I'm just going to go Merc Treads 90% of the time on junglers. Or mobility boots, obviously. Okay, don't need that. Ow. It takes forever that internal cooldown to swap between forms. This is what that's why I get mixed up when I go from form to form. I could have killed that Shivan easily before, but yeah. I was too late on my swapping. And there was no real need for me to be that late. Okay, so we got that. This means she's dead. So, walk straight into that, which was dumb. And I don't think we're going to get this. Maybe we can go up and around and get the stun off, maybe. They still have a turret, so... Okay, that was dumb. I thought maybe I could go in, flash out, and then um, repel. But, no flash. Things I have to consider before I do d dumb things. And that Nar showed up at a very good time as well. So from here, I want to get... Uh, I would love to get Leandries. And then go tanky. But we are getting killed quite a lot. So I think it might be time to go defensive now. So they have Shivana AD, Nar AD, Jinx AD. I think I'm just going to go for a Sunfire now, and then after a Sunfire we'll finish the Landry's and then maybe go into a, an Abyssal or something for the AP against, um, against Vladimir. Or, or a Banshee's, maybe. Kind of like the idea of Abyssal though, because we have a Fizz and we have a Blitz and a uh, Volley who all do, well Fizz obviously does AP damage, but the other two do a bit of AP damage, so probably not a bad item. In, uh, in all respects, because there's quite a bit of AP damage there for the team. Um, it will definitely help them out. Yes, smite that for the bonus. Um, gonna get Scuttle again. I love having Scuttle control. It's one of the main things I uh, fo try and focus on if I can. Even though it jukes you like crazy like that. And makes you waste all your abilities and then you're just walking around doing nothing. Now let's see if his red is up. Or let's go help this Volar Bear. I don't have flash. Right, I can't really do much there. Whoops. Okay, you got him anyway. What am I doing? I thought I'd press repel again, but apparently not. His volley bear is absolutely crushing it. So let's clear this out. Snar's gonna harass us. But I think we can actually kill him. Fairly easily. He was nowhere near Meganar, so all he was gonna do was just poke us with uh, his boomerang. But as soon as I got the stun off him, I was fairly confident that he was going down. So that's why I uh, I just watered that bush so that I could pretty much see what he was going to do and uh, encounter anything he had going. So that was a fairly straightforward kill, that one. Yeah, we missed the big guy. Pretty hard to long, uh, last it with this many minions. They kind of stuff up your rhythm there. All right, so we can go back and get Sunfire now. Pretty much perfect, um, perfect coin for it. So we'll do that. Drags. Still a while away. Now I'm going to finish this. Because I feel that we're in a better position now. We're a bit stronger. 
Still a few more deaths than I would like, but our team is doing really well. It's a bit one-sided, this match. This Shivana hasn't done anything. Um, I was, you know, afraid of her at the start, as you should be against the Shivanas. They're uh, pretty, pretty silly. Um, and you saw that when I, that I keep coming back to it, that time that I stuffed up down here where I jeweled her there and I did the stuff up on the form swap. Uh, you know, I had all the, the hundred percent the advantage going into that and she just kicked my ass. She, the, she's just such a strong one-on-one -on -one champion. And if she gets fed late game, she's just retarded. But this game, that Shivana's not really doing much. So it's good for us. Okay. Make sure we get the big guy. Go in here and farm all this up. And let's see what we can do. Where'd he go? No, he's gone. <clears throat> I perhaps could have flashed and secured that, but... Okay, can't do anything there. And that's actually a really bad spot for me. So let's go help this volley take this, this turret down. <clears throat> Got the uh, spiders tanking the turret there, which was handy. That Sunfire cape coming in handy for uh, for tanking it as well. Okay, he's dead. Alright, um, probably still do something here too, actually. No. Okay. We should be fine. I can I can just flash over. And then pounce on him and kill him. Yep. They underestimate underestimate the elise damage. Um so we're gonna war drag. We definitely can't take it. We have no HP for it, and Shivana's pretty much full. Um so we're just gonna go into this bush and and go back. Because that, even a Shivana that's not really that fed. I mean, she's not, she's got decent farm and everything, but um, she doesn't have many kills. Will just slaughter me on that amount of HP. Grab some pots, because you never know how useful pots will ever be. And then head back to the dragon and try and secure that off her. No, the Blitz should have pulled that uh, scuttle then. Okay, is she going to go for it? Don't think, don't think she is. Although there definitely looks like there's going to be a team fight for it. Okay, get a few kills here for ourselves, hopefully. We, didn't, we got a few kills, I think. Got one or two at least. Um, don't know how many. It was a bit of a shit fight, really. There was just people everywhere. Use those pots that we bought. Um, use the sc spiderling to farm all this. Volatile spiderling. She got some pretty cool names for her spells, too, actually. And then I think we might go counter jungle for a bit. Oh, actually, Fizz is going back, so. No, he's not going back. I was going to say, if Fizz was going back, we were going to go farm this up while he goes back, but. He decided to stick around. And it's gone anyway. So they, they're all up. Which means we have to be a bit careful. And not get stuck. Now this is kind of risky. Because we have no vision in their jungle. And they can come in and flank me. So what I might do. Is I might. If the wolves are up. Yeah. I'm going to smite this and get the vision. And not kill that last one unless my spiders do it for me. Okay, good. And I'm pretty sure I can kill the Shivana. I'm gonna give it a go. Although she does have quite a large large-ish minion wave. She comes in here. Okay, she knows I'm here. I might just back off. 
Even though I'm much more... Much stronger than her. I am... Oh, okay, they surrendered. I think I actually had her there, to be honest. Uh, I'm a bit scared of Shivana still. They... I just don't know how to fight them. And I think the main thing is you don't fight them one-on-one. -on -one. Anyway, so there's a quick little game with Elise. Uh, had a bit of a shaky start, but you can definitely see the longer she goes, the more items she gets, especially Magic Pen. Um, how strong she can be. So I hope you enjoyed that. As always, thanks for watching. And uh, I'll see you in the next episode.